MIX Telematics Limited. Okay. What do they do? You know, better question is, what does the chart look like? Uh, hmm. Not impressed. Not impressed. Not impressed. Not a. Uh, oh wait, wait. We might have. We, we might. We might. We might have impression here. Hold on a second. So this is a hell of a run up. Question is, is that it coming out of COVID? What was it like pre-COVID? Give me that. Give me that five-year chart. Okay, yeah, it took a nosedive back in March. Look at that. February. Thirteen. Uh, thirteen twenty-seven. Down to March eight sixty-five. So this is. This seems to be just it. Getting it. Getting it. Getting back to its pre-pandemic levels. I would say that's what I would think of this one. Uh, however, it started to slip even before then, from like April to February, it was slipping down, and I kind of want to know why. So let's go read about read about what they actually do. First of all, I like these financials. These are not bad, especially something like this, where they ex a lot a loss was expected, and they actually ended up making money. That is that is super impressive to me. Uh, that is super impressive. I kind of wonder what the story behind these yearly earnings are. They were killing it where all of these, I want to know where all of this revenue in 2017 came from because apparently it has dropped off 2018 to 2019, 2020, piddly, piddly in comparison. So I'm not too sure what to make of that. And unfortunately, these historical articles don't go back that far. I've learned that the hard way. What about the quarterly? Actually, this, this ain't bad either. This ain't this ain't terrible. I mean, it's no 2020. Uh, it's no 2020, unfortunately, or 20 not 2020, uh, 2017. But uh, all right, let's see. What do these guys actually do? Telematics Limited provides fleet and mobile asset management solutions through software as a service delivery model. Company offers fleet solutions including MIX, Fleet Manager Premium, uh, blah blah blah. I don't know, cloud something or other. This is all this is all this is all French to me. I think I've gone on a rant before about how I, about how I hate clouds. Uh, old man yells at cloud. Yep. It delivers threat and mobile asset management solutions to uh. That's a lot. That's a that's an awful lot of subscribers in South Africa, Americas. You know, uh, a company in a business like this, you would think could bring up bring about better financials than this, which makes me kind of suspect. Makes me kind of suspect. Hmm. Let's see. Anything good or bad in these articles? Long-term global connected fleet partner. Okay. Launches groundbreaking my mix tracking app to drive fleet safety. Okay. Ports third quarter. Uh, yeah, third quarter insights. I want to know about insights. Rose. Oh, look, they reported, and it rose 0.1%. That's nice. Earnings uh, per share fell. Revenue fell. Looking ahead, earnings guidance has not been issued for this company for now. Yeah, probably because probably it's going to suck. Uh, obviously, if you think your business is going to do garbage in the future, you don't want to tell the shareholders. Or you do want to tell the shareholders, because sometimes if you don't, they are going to sue your ass for withholding information. Uh, let's see. To present at the Raymond, uh, blah, blah. It's not, this is, this is a very middle of the road. It's not, it's not. Terrible, but I'm not no su. No, I wouldn't say it's no substance. No, um, I would say this is very middle of the road. It's not a terrible company, but it's also not you know fantastic. It doesn't impress me, you know. Uh, not to mention that I don't. I find these earnings numbers. I find the the earnings numbers in the short term. I find impressive. I find like if I was just, if I was just looking at these, I'd say a buy. But the numbers in the longer term make a much different or not make uh paint a much different picture. I think 
paint a much different picture for a company who is or, or that is kind of struggling a bit kind of struggling so like I said it's not it's not terrible it's not terrible so so it's not a sell it's not I'm not impressed I'm not impressed enough to say this is a buy though so I am gonna have to go again kind of middle of the road cop out for MIXT I'm gonna have to go for a hold for them because seems good but not terribly impressed uh does it have the chance to go up a little a little bit further yeah yeah i think so how much further i honestly don't know i don't think it's gonna fall i don't think it's gonna fall because again it got pre it got back to that pre-pandemic level so i think if you were to hold you'd be fine uh I, I i would be surprised if it fell from here but i honestly don't know if it can go high if it can go higher or if it does go higher how much longer that can that can be sustained so that's my justification for a hold for these guys. Bloop, bloop.